Get ready for the 100th episode of Tyler Perry's The Oak. What? Is it true? It's the event everyone will be talking about. We gotta do something before they kill somebody else. It's gonna be a long night. Tyler Perry's The Oak, 100th episode, tonight at 9 on BET. Watch it live. We're gonna jump right into it. These first few questions are for both of you. When you first started and you started shooting the pilot, did you ever see it coming to 100 um, episodes now? And you can start. <laughs> um, you know, when you, when you get on a Tyler Perry show, it's like being born on third base. It's, um, you, you know that if things go well, you should be able to make it. Um, and we came out of the gate white hot, a lot of great press. We were the number one new show on cable in 2019. Uh, and it was all looking easy. And the day before we were about to start shooting season two, I got a call from Tyler and we were shutting down because COVID. And all of a sudden you just go, oh no, oh no, 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 no. And then Tyler does one of the most incredible pivots in the history of entertainment and somehow and creates camp quarantine. And we shoot two seasons during quarantine. And right as we're getting back and like this season right now, season five is the best season creatively, in my opinion, here yeah. comes a strike. And it's just like, oh my goodness. And so it's just been, it's there's there's something a, a huge sense of relief that we made it to 100 episodes because hey i was on another show one day at a time that i was shooting simultaneously like they shot me out early thank goodness to go back and then i got then season two got shut down one day at a time never finished they didn't finish season four that last episode wasn't the season four then the whole show ended up getting sort of canceled because of covid and i have so many friends who lost deals shows you know movies that were all set and didn't so there's a massive sense of gratitude and relief, you know, that we made it because it wasn't as easy as it was supposed to be. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then, um, Karan, did you want to respond to that? Yes, yeah, certainly. Um, I like, like Ed said, you know, start starting on a Tyler Perry show. Um, his shows, like when they do well, they do very, very well. And so we did anticipate getting to 100 episodes but um it's kind of surreal being here now that you know we, we've we've actually done it you know we, we've gotten that much in the can and we our fans are still with us and so we're just very very grateful uh it's definitely the show one of my favorites so i i can't wait for the 100 next episode yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, and then both of your characters have been off the chain this season i have to say i can't even say which one has been more off the chain but y'all have been doing it this season. So I want to ask, what motivates Hunter and what motivates Victoria? Let's start with you. <laughs> start with me? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah I, well, I mean, I've, I've always sort of looked at their position and how they got here, that they've been sort of on this trajectory to the White House, and then they get to the White House, and it's almost like they're a prisoner of their own lives and their own moment. Um, you know, they don't have any other kind of freedom. You know, Victoria can pretend she has freedom, but she doesn't. You know, it's, it's her parents and the crime family she comes from. And I can pretend I'm the most powerful man in the world, but, you know, I, I, I can't do what I want to do from day to day. And I don't really want to do much, and I don't really want to do this. Um, and so there is that sort of, you know, a cat on a hot tin roof, you know, caged animal that, you know, you end up just sort of lashing out because there is no other release. Yeah. And I think for Victoria, what gets her through it is just trying to get through the um, the term. She and with, with without any anyone else falling off and without, you know, too much negative press. So, you know, she does what she can to to clean up everybody's messes and put out as many fires as she can and try to make it appear as though everything is OK. But uh, I think her motivation is just to 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 get through this. <laughs> get through the term and uh not not be impeached <laughs> exactly <True. laughs> and then Garan, what's your favorite moment that you've had filming the series so far from the, the series so far oh wow there have been so many great moments um name a few <laughs> the, one i don't i don't know if anybody would remember this but there was a uh and I think it was in season three. And it was a scene where Hunter and Victoria confront Jason 
after he has just killed his grandmother on the plane and we find you know this cut up body in <laughs> and under the bed and, and it's in the trunk and um <laughs> i think it was one of the first scenes that we shot for that season and jason just comes in and he's just completely indignant and you know he denies everything that we're accusing him of and he uh goes into his room and he's got both of his hands on because he's got double doors and he's he goes off on both of his parents he darn near chokes victoria well he chokes her to the floor and then he says you just let me know when i can have lunch and he slams <laughs> the door uh, it was just a, it was a hilarious moment for all of us um and tyler's just like it's not funny i'm like dude this is hilarious right. this is hilarious. <laughs> so that I was one of my favorite moments i love that scene i know exactly what you're talking about because it just came from nowhere jason was like <laughs> and then and what's been the best part for you working with the rest of the cast in the past? um you know it's it, it, it's it was such a different experience it's so much different than all the you know dozens of shows and movies and you know that i've done over the over the decades um and that there's just this really fun it, it was interesting as scary as COVID was it was it was just more season one we all basically came everybody came to my house and we all basically ran our lines and got ready and then just it's it's like i love multicam like those shows like two broke girls and one day at a time i love live studio audience and i also what i love is the rehearsing 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 and then you do the show live you know in front of a live studio audience um and there's a little bit of that to the way tyler works because you get all this material and you work 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 and then when you walk onto the set and it's hot i mean they're flying through stuff and so you have that same kind of energy and tyler's crews are so big it's just it's amazing how many people are on set so you kind of feel like you're in it's not like this little tight intimate scene you know where it's just the director and a couple camera operators and stuff i mean there are a lot of folks and so you know and, and we're all we all know what we're all up against you know sometimes like, i remember karen called me i think it was god i'm in season five where my phone started ringing and she and I was like and I missed a call from her and like texting and I'm like what's wrong she goes oh my god did you see the schedule I'm like no no and we were starting and the scripts were coming in a little little late so we didn't have a lot of time to prep and I was about to get murdered like I was first I mean like you see the other cast members some of their days and like if you're in like one location and it's like you okay you can be okay <laughs> I mean, that's a real and we and we all Everybody has it every season. Everybody has their deck. Oh, you know, it's like, what are your bad days? What are your, what, what are your, what are your days where you're going to get absolutely slaughtered? It's like, dude, Friday and then next Tuesday. I don't know how I'm going to do it. <laughs> and so there's a real camaraderie about that that's a lot different than uh, than any other kind of production. That sounds good. We support each other a lot in that, too. When we know that, you know, the, our other cast members are, are slammed and they're going to have really heavy shoot days. We do what we can to support them and you know yeah. them get their lines and whatever they need we, we we we're really good about supporting each other like rehearse with their stuff even though you know let them get their stuff like down even mm -hmm. though like it's maybe you only have one scene that day or something so that but and then they won't you won't see them for two or three days because they're trying to get all the other stuff and and you know you just kind of you know carry the weight and, you know do the uh do the work on their schedule because they know um you know what they're going through and and they do the same for you. You guys come across as a great ensemble on screen. So it's beautiful to hear that it's like that behind, you know, sometimes, you know, it looks beautiful on screen, but it's not. <laughs> I've been on and, those shows. Mary's, I've been on a few of those shows. <laughs> I'm sure. And then before we wrap, you guys have to tell everybody why they need to be tuned in tonight to BET to catch the 100th episode of the Mobile and Mind You Stop. Because it's the 100th episode, hello. <laughs> like we made it to 100. I mean, and that's a, that's definitely a landmark. But um, as with every show, um, every week, you know, there's there's a crazy, crazy cliffhanger. So um, 
I, I can't give any spoilers, but this is when it's going to be really, really special this season. Um, Ed has mentioned before that it's probably the most creative uh, thus far. And I think, you know, the audience will definitely appreciate, you know, what's to come today and throughout the, the remainder of the season. And every episode just sort of keeps building. So it's, it's, it's really a lot of fun. It has been. Well, I haven't seen the episode tonight, but all I know is that Jason is returning in some way. So that's what has me excited. Absolutely. <laughs> and we're and we're biting our nails because of it. Well, at least Victoria is, you know, Hunter. It's just like, what's happening with, with, with the kid? You'll see yeah. what unfolds. We can't wait. But again, thank you to talented, beautiful people for taking time out speaking with me again, Aries for Urban Bridges. You guys continue success. And I can't wait for the rest of the season. Thanks, thanks so much. Thanks so much. Good to see you. Yeah. Good one. All right. Thanks.